or something we say all of a sudden that we don't really would normally say. If he can block us in any way he can, he's going to find our weakness, and that's what he's going to try to block us with. So be aware of that. It's not easy to walk that narrow pathway. It is a difficult journey. But it is a journey that is well worth taking because not only, not only will we get to the streets of glory, but on that journey, on that narrow pathway, we will be able to be that beacon that will help others walk that narrow pathway as well. So it's worth it. We know we're going to be under attack of the enemy. I mean, what makes us any different? Look at Jesus. He went into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights, and he was under attack continuously. By the enemy. So are we. Now, this is not a point. This is good stuff. Don't try to fight him. Don't fight Satan. There's no reason to. He's already been defeated. Amen? Amen. We don't have to fight Satan. I believe what we should do is follow the example of, of Michael and Jude when they were, to, when they were to, uh, arguing about the body of Moses, who was going to get him. Well, Jude didn't attack Satan. He didn't fight Satan. He didn't go after Satan and tell him how wrong he was, that this body belonged to God and not to you, that this person served Jesus all their life, not you. He didn't do that. No, he said, the Lord rebuke you. If you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you have that same authority. You can say to the enemy when he attacks you, the Lord rebuke you. And when that occurs, the enemy has nothing, no choice except to turn away from you. And that's a fact. But to go after and attack Satan, you're going to lose. Because you're fighting an archangel of God. But when you use the Lord as his beacon and say, the Lord rebuke you, you win the battle every single time. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Amen? Let's stand this morning. You know, once we're on that path that leads to the glory of glory, the journey home is hard. But the reward, re reward will be hearing our Lord Jesus say, and this is something we can all expect to hear, welcome home, faithful servant. Here's a robe and a crown just for you. Amen. Amen. If you've gotten off the narrow path, it doesn't matter why. Now's the time to come before the throne of grace and ask God to show you back to the narrow path. Now's the time. Or perhaps you've never chosen to step onto the narrow path. You've, you've lived your life as best you could, perhaps, and, and been a part of the church for, for a long time, but you've never actually walked that narrow path. Now's the time. So all heads bowed, all eyes closed. I want you just to reflect on it. And if anyone would like to come to the altar, myself, Pastor Dustin, several of us, we would pray with you. <coughs>